and welcome to Bike Portal. The bike that we have today with us is the Hero Extreme Sports. Now, this bike has been derived from CBZ through successive multiple iterations. So it would not be wrong to say that the legendary CBZ is in fact the parent motorcycle from which this bike has been derived. However, with time, almost everything on this bike has changed. Let's find out if it has been good or not on the show today. Mid-size headlight cluster has been redesigned and carries eyebrow-type DRLs that glow bright even in broad daylight. The integrated turn indicators that were earlier present on the CBZ Extreme were removed with the introduction of Extreme. The Extreme Sports 2 follows the same approach and uses the outward protruding ones, which we believe work better. There are split grab rails for the pillion rider to hold on to. Rear view mirrors are wide enough and help increase all-around visibility for the rider. The instrument cluster is a semi-digital affair offers features like side stand indicator, two trip meters, an analog fuel gauge and a clock. At the back too, the LED tail light looks great when lit. Gold color shocks and engine cowl add a touch of sportiness. In terms of ergonomics, the bike pleased us with its comfy seats and handlebar grips. The overall quality of switchgear plastics is okay and the buttons are ergonomically placed and easy to operate. One thing however that we did not like is the oddly placed ignition keyhole. Operating it in start-stop traffic was a big hassle. Hero should consider putting an engine kill switch for the same reason or should either reposition the keyhole. The engine has square geometry which makes it really easy to spin. We rode the bike on highways as well as the city and can safely say that the engine is one of the most refined units that we have come across in the 150cc segment. It remains vibration free until 7700 rpm mark. Severe vibrations are felt through the handlebars only when the engine is pushed to extreme around 8000 rpm. The 5-speed transmission is not the smoothest, the gear ratios are evenly distributed and the clutch is extremely light and easy to operate in city traffic. The fork suspension setup at the front is on the softer side and offers perfect cushioning while the rear is a 5-step preload adjustable dual shock system that's comparatively stiff which makes it a good handler but at the same time it works well and does manage to soak in the bumps quite effortlessly. The suspension set up together with soft seats offer perfect cushioning for a comfortable city ride. The upright riding posture and handlebar position, though not sporty, offer a relaxed position for city riding. The handling is decent too and you get disc brakes at the front as well as rear which are extremely efficient and confidence inspiring. We managed to get about 55 kmpl of average from a mixed run of in and around the city. Considering that we rode it enthusiastically at times, it's indeed impressive enough. The Hero Extreme Sport should prove to be a perfect premium commuter if you're looking for something comfortable and light on pocket to live with. Priced at Rs 73,000 X showroom Delhi, it competes with the sea of motorcycles out there, but it's definitely worth considering. Head on to our website bikeportal.in for more news and reviews. It's goodbye for now, ride safe.